This was Alexei Navalny only yesterday, not a man visibly on death's door. <laughs> Laughing and joking with a federal judge in a court hearing. But 24 hours later, Russian state TV was announcing his unexpected demise. After a walk in jail, it said, Navalny had felt unwell and lost consciousness. Doctors tried to resuscitate the activists, say authorities, but failed. Alexei Navalny leaves a wife, Yulia, and two children. Yulia was with world leaders at the Munich Security Conference as the news came through, but somehow still found the courage to address them. You've probably all already seen the terrible news today. I thought for a long time whether I should come out here or fly straight to my children. But then I thought, what would Alexei do in my place? And I'm sure he would be here. He would be on this stage. Alexei Navalny was known worldwide for his astonishing courage, standing up to Russia's corrupt regime that first poisoned him, then put him in jail, and now it seems has killed him. His death has brought swift condemnation. He was so many things that Putin was not. He was brave, he was principled, he was dedicated to building a Russia where the rule of law existed and where it applied to everybody. Navalny believed in that Russia. That Russia. He knew it was a cause worth fighting for, and obviously even dying for. Alexei Navalny's multiple sentences on trumped up charges prompted calls in the West for sanctions on Putin. They were repeated today. Well, there should be consequences because there's no doubt in my mind this man was a brave fighter against corruption, for justice, for democracy, and look what Putin's Russia did to him. They trumped up charges, they imprisoned him, they poisoned him, they sent him to an Arctic penal colony, and he's died. And, and that is because of the action that Putin's Russia took. No one can look at this regime now and not recognize it for the truly dreadful nature that it has. Alexei Navalny was a potent critic of Putin's war in Ukraine. Its president, Vladimir Zelensky, also in Germany, blamed the Russian president for his death. <laughs> To me, it's obvious he was killed, like the thousands of others who were tortured to death because of this person. Putin doesn't care who dies as long as he maintains his own position. The Russian leader himself was smiling his way through a photo opportunity with students and engineers. There was no mention of his arch rival's death. That was left instead to other officials who were making it all sound like just another routine death in jail. As far as we know, with all the current rules, the Federal Penitentiary Service is engaged in all checks and clarifications. No specific instructions are required because there is a certain set of rules that the service is guided by. Ordinary Muscovites were paying their respects with flowers in the snow. While most Russians have gone along quietly with their country slide into totalitarian rule, Alexei Navalny always fought against it and now, it seems, has paid the price. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.